Everyone else saw it in me, except for me. It never occurred to me that I would ever be a rabbi. <laughs> I am Rena Arshana. Right now, I am working as a spiritual care practitioner and as a rabbi slash chaplain. I graduated from nursing, but I had a great opportunity to work in AIDS research, and this was the late 80s, so that was a very exciting time to be working in AIDS research, and did that for three years in the very department that I studied in, and that was something that gave me a skill set that I am so grateful for. A couple of years later, my father died, and it occurred to me that maybe I want to go back to my roots. That was the start of looking at life just a little differently. In Jewish tradition, the obligation for a child is to go to synagogue every day for a year and say a particular prayer for a parent who has passed away. And that was what I was doing every morning. I became very comfortable doing that, and I said, I think maybe that's what I'm looking for. One day, I went to talk to the rabbi I knew, and I said, well, I have this crazy idea. And when I told her, she said, why is it crazy? And I said, well, how can I do that now at this age? And she said, why not? So off I went to Israel for a year and four years in Cincinnati, and I became a rabbi. I love to be on a university campus. The word rabbi means teacher, so what a wonderful privilege to one day receive a phone call from the University of Toronto asking if I would teach for the Bereavement Education Certificate Program. I have now taught 11 groups of students on grief and trauma across the lifespan. I do believe very strongly that everything comes together, that you're not a person in a vacuum doing only what you're doing in this moment. I am a nurse, and I have the epidemiology, and I am an ordained rabbi, and I am a chaplain, and I am a teacher. Each one of these pieces is representing a piece of my life. What I would say to someone either starting out or someone who has the idea that maybe they might want to go back to school and do something else and, and there's some fear, if there's something that speaks to you, that beckons to you, pursue it. It is something that will enhance what you already have, and what you already have is going to contribute to what you're doing now. What a great opportunity.